guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, hanging out with my friend Guthrie Trap here in East Nashville. East Nasty, I call him, you are Mr. East Nasty in more ways than one. Your guitar playing's nasty. But I did shower this morning. You did shower, good. But you're also, <laughs> I call you the mayor, the mayor of East Nashville. Only on my street, and it's a real short street. <laughs> <laughs> We've got links below for all your stuff. You've Thanks. got new stuff coming out at True Fire mm -hmm. and you know, all your own social stuff, gigs, yeah. guitar playing. So you do lots of your own videos. So I know you've got a bunch of your own students and viewers and fans out there and you really focus on chord shapes. I try to teach the things that changed my life when I was a kid on a guitar. One quick thing, we were jamming on like, I was playing like a C9 chord. Mm -hmm. And you had so many different voicings you were doing. Can you just show me one, if I'm playing the classic C9 chord. What's one good move you like to go to from there? Well, one that comes to mind is, is classic James Brown lick. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. You're, where you're using your little finger to, uh, it'll be like, uh, you know. Yep. I love that. Awesome. I also love adding the sus okay. to it, which is like just raising this to F. However you want to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. However you want to do it, and then sometimes I, I might even do this. This is something that I remember from a, wh a while back, is this little move. People do it like this, but right. you don't think of doing it there. From a C voicing. So I'm just going to play in C7, but then... Remember all okay. that? Yeah, like... And then doing all three. If you use your hand. And then sometimes I might even add the sus to that, like you know. Well, let's show them uh, going into some to the four. All of that yeah, same yeah. stuff and then works. Yeah, the same right? stuff. Yeah, right. Then you can get this too if you want. You know, whatever you would play in a single note line, if I'm playing this, they're going back to the one, I'm thinking, oh, let's see. So there's your little line. So I'm thinking like hearing what's happening and then always trying to develop that into something that's musical or melodic. So if I play that, I would probably then play just the line in chords. Yeah. Which takes a little bit of practice, but man, that's where the good stuff is. But you also play the pentatonic. Absolutely. Even though we're adding in these new sounds and flavors, even our favorite guitar players that have ever walked the planet, we're not ever departing and abandoning the simple right. stuff. Or the fact that like someone like Stevie Ray Vaughan didn't do anything we're just right. talking about right now. And right. He's still considered the top of the top. Exactly. In fact, he rarely left the main home row pentatonic. Right. <laughs> He made every note count. Yeah, that goes to show you. I mean, guys like Mark Knopfler or Albert King or whoever you, David Gilmour. I mean, these guys, Eric Clapton, whoever your favorites are, these guys are not playing things that we would consider super complicated. Right. But it's the intent and the phrasing and the tone. And I'm a huge Mark Knopfler fan because he plays so melodically and you want to hear him play more. But what he's doing is he's playing a lot out of these chord shapes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it sounds so good is because the chord is the foundation of what we're actually hearing without this we'd have nothing until we commit to a sound so when you're playing a chord whatever color that is it could be a minor whatever it is when you target the notes of that of those chords with your lead guitar playing and emphasize those chord tones you're giving your ear what it wants to hear right and it's that simple preview mm -hmm. preview what you just showed me so yeah. obviously we got the nine chord mm -hmm. got the james brown thing right which is the 13. it works in the blues you know but you've got that C7 shape. Mm -hmm. And that connects with that as well, so. Right, right. It's all, right, all part of the same thing. But what we normally do in with the E voicing, you took your index finger and covered it mm -hmm. a half step below that third in the C shape. Mm -hmm. So for C, it would be the first fret D string. Right. And then that pinky's still on the seventh there, and so you're going. Right. Right. 
Yeah. And normally that index finger is just going back to the octave root. Right. Do you, you make it hop over like? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of turning it into maybe not even playing that root and just playing like. You know, yeah. Just using that as its own little riff. Not even really doing the B string. I'd be doing us all a disservice. Disservice, if don't I did, disservice. If, if I didn't say this, I'd be doing us a huge disservice, okay. especially in this shape. So here's part of my hillbilly way of looking at things. So if, here's your C9 chord. This, the top three strings of this chord are a G minor triad. And so one of the big things is this, that's a really nice G minor nine chord, okay? Yep. So if I'm playing this C9 chord, I'm also thinking of this. You like to over drop that, that in there. Right, and yeah, so I'm okay. also, so over and over that funk loop. But that, you can use that over all three of those chords, like what Marty D went to the four chord. Then you get all this. This makes a Lydian, but it also turns into G minor over C7, which is a great trick. So that is this line. You're targeting that major third, which really brings your ear back. And that's a ten tension builder. If you want to take it a step further, I'm thinking G minor over C7. I'm also thinking B flat major seven over C7. So then you get this world. Was that all B flat there that you were thinking? Yeah, so I'm thinking blanket key is C7. I'm just keeping that in the, on yep. the horizon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're in C7, but I'm gonna depart a little bit and play over that. So I'm gonna go up this, the uh, B flat major seven arpeggio and then down the mixolydian. So watch this. So here's your right. G shape. Then. So. That's it. And it's all about resolving okay. back. It's all He's about gone. resolving. I, can, I have now <laughs> taken all of his powers. <laughs> More power! Dude, that was awesome. Once again, you guys, go uh, check out the description link below for Guthrie's social media and future educational stuff, artist works, true fire. Keep the dream alive, man. Yeah, man, the adventure <laughs> continues. Yeah, all right, we'll see you guys later. Thank you.